configure and manage nano server now before we start managing this nano server we need to perform the initial configuration so from this recovery console i'm going to type the username as administrator and the password which i specified during the creation of nano server image using the new nano server image commandlet and the domain name i'm going to leave it blank because this nano server is not joined to the domain yet i'll press enter now these are the few options that you can configure on a nano server's uh, text based console to start with i will configure networking which is already selected so i'll press enter i'll select the network adapter and press enter you can see the current ip information for this vm and you can configure both ipv4 as well as ipv6 scroll down to the bottom and you can see you have to press f11 to change the ipv4 settings first thing i will disable the hcp by pressing f4 and you can notice in the screen that there is no option to type the dns server ip addresses and the only way to set the dns server ip addresses for this vm is to use DHCP address with DNS information or by using Windows remote management such as PowerShell commandlets. So I will type the IP address as 192.168.10.11 and the subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 and the default gateway is 192.168.10.254 so i will press enter to save the information i'm going to press escape to continue and you can see the new ipv4 address has been set now i will go back to the main screen by pressing escape key twice all right now i will select inbound firewall rules because we need to enable some rules so the first one is file and print sharing smb in and the second one is file and print sharing echo request icmpv4 in i will select the first one which is file and print sharing smb in by pressing enter i will press f4 to enable it and i will do the same thing for file and printer sharing echo request icmpv4n all right these two rules which are required to manage the nano server have been enabled and now if i open up command prompt on my windows 10 client i should be able to ping the nano server all right the ping works by the ip address and if I ping by the host name, it'll not work because this nano server is not joined to the domain yet. And also there is no configured DNS server set on this nano server. So what we have to do is we have to set the DNS server IP addresses using the PowerShell commandlet. And then we should be able to join this nano server to an active directory domain. So let me open up PowerShell. Now to run the PowerShell commandlet against a server using its IP address, you first need to add that server as a trusted host on your client machine. So I'll run the command set item wsman colon backslash localhost backslash client backslash trusted hosts minus value 192.168.10.111 which is the IP address of our nano server so I'll press enter and I will press Y now we'll enter into a PS session of the remote host which is our nano server so I'll type enter ps session minus computer name and that will be our ip address of the nano server minus credential i'll 
prompt this for the credential get credential all right so again i'll type the same credential which i used to create the nano server image using the new nano server image commandlet all right you can see that we have now entered into the ps session of the nano server okay first i'll check if there is any dns server configured so i'll type get dns client server address and you can see for ipv4 it is nothing and for ipv6 it's just the loopback address now let's configure our dns server addresses on this nano server by running set dns client server address minus interface alias ethernet minus server addresses I just have only one DNS server which is 192.168.10.1 all right I'll press enter let's see if I can now see the DNS server address configured and I can see that all right I'll exit out of the PS session of our nano server next we need to join the nano server to the domain now to join a nano server to the domain we cannot use the regular method to join any windows server or a windows client to an active directory domain instead we need to use offline domain join method for that i will type djoin slash provision slash domain which is contoso.local slash machine which is nano server one slash save file in c drive nano server one dot txt now you need to run this command on a machine which is already joined to a domain in my case i'm running this command on my windows 10 client which is already joined to the domain and this command will create a text file which i then need to copy it to my nano server and from there i need to run a couple of commands to complete the offline domain join process of my nano server so i will press enter all right so it has created the text file and if i open up the text file it contains nothing but some random letters and numbers so now i'll copy this to the c drive of my nano server so let me punch in my nano server ip address so i'm going to paste this in the c drive now back to the powershell once again i'll open a new ps session to my nano server so i'll type in enter ps session minus computer name which is 192.168.10.111 and the credential i pressed enter and i'll type in the credential all right now we'll join this nano server to our active directory domain so i will type d join forward slash request o d j forward slash load file c colon nano server one dot txt slash windows path c colon backslash windows forward slash local os now this command will request the offline domain join by loading the file that we generated in the last command and also by specifying the path of the windows directory of the nano server i'll press enter all right the process is done and you can see here that it is asking for restart of the computer so i'll restart the computer by typing the command restart computer and press enter okay so that is it this is how you join the server to the domain and if i go back to the text-based console of my nano server i should be able to log in to the domain so i'll specify 
the domain name contosa.local i'll press enter all right so there we go you can see the domain name as well as the username